Hey everybody, my name is Kevin Moore. Come back for another video of NHL 21 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series, of course. Um, having a lot of fun playing this series for you guys. Now, I am going to make a, a bit out of pause the uh, Burnout series because I have a brand new game as I'm talking. The uh, pr the previous, uh, the first video to the brand new game uh, that I'm talking about uh, came out uh, yesterday, right? So I played it yesterday or something like that. I don't know if I'm uploading to the, today or whatever as I'm talking, but I've got a brand new game. It's an indie game and stuff like that. Kind of looks like a good game. I haven't bought it as I'm talking just yet. I haven't bought it. I haven't played it. I'm going to play it tomorrow, but uh, for you guys, it might be uh, yesterday. So if you know what I'm talking about. So um, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I hope it's going to be a good game. But uh, anyways, uh, while I finish off this indie game and stuff like that, that looks kind of cool. I want to put on a pause burnout. I want to have too much series coming out at the same time. I feel like burnout is like a, it's like the new filler series, basically. So we're putting it out on the pause. We're going to come back to it once... We're done with that new series and everything. And that's all I had to say about it. Now we're going to continue with, uh, obviously, this season right here on the NHL, uh, on our franchise mode. We uh, started off pretty badly, but we came back around with uh, two good simulations in a row. So I think uh, we are in the right spot. Dylan Larkin's playing great. Now our penalty kill, I looked at it. It was kind of going tr uh, trending down. So I went ahead and put it from passive box to diamond. We'll see if it changes anything if we're going to be better on that part uh let's just start the simulation up two four six eight and ten so all the way up after the um the all-star break we're going to go at the next month of uh, february against the uh, uh, pittsburgh penguins let's see if we can get any wins right here uh we're going to get obviously close uh by the trade deadline right here uh, and we're going to try and see if, if everything goes great I don't think I'm going to change anything to my lineup. I've got pretty much a stud roster already. I don't need to really change anything too much. Uh, there's re literally nothing I, I have to change, right? My roster is doing great as it is uh, right now. It seems like I, I turned my team around as well. I, I don't know what wasn't working per se in the previous... Uh, at the beginning of the season, but seems to be working out as we are uh, lost uh, two games in a row in regulation right there. But... Uh, I think my team uh, uh, is just fine right now. It's doing just fine. We are scoring goals. We might be giving a bit too many goals sometimes. But, um, you know, I can give that a part. Uh, supposedly, we were the best of the defensive team. Probably not anymore. Uh, I don't know why, though. I, I guess the penalty kill, maybe. I don't know. But we are scoring like five or six goals per, day, uh, per game, boys, when we're winning. So, you can already see... We had a pretty, uh, we have a pretty good record right now going on, and uh, we are obviously running for the president's trophy once again. Seven and three, the last uh, ten games. Uh, let's see. So we have seventy-two points in the season, seventy-five points for the Flames. Yeah, we're in con uh, we are basically uh, in direct uh, race with the Flames. We gotta start winning a little bit more games. I don't know if the flames are gonna drop. They should. I don't. Uh, I don't know, boys. I hope they will, but uh, it's gonna be tough. It's definitely gonna be tough uh, to beat them if they don't. If they don't drop uh, at all, right? They they gotta be able to drop at some points. Otherwise, it's uh, it's definitely gonna be a problem. We are the best offensive team. I can already see it. Best defensive team as well. Power play, best power play, and penalty kill is uh, still at six seventy six percent. It's actually trending down still. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put it at large box. I actually really don't know what to do with the uh, penalty kill. That is one of my weaknesses that uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, boys. Like, I can change the I can change the settings and stuff, but there's there's only so much I can do. I do not want to go uh, get out of there. No, I don't want to do that. So, yeah, there's only so much I can actually do uh, with uh, the settings and stuff. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's fine, I guess. Uh, two, four... 6, 8, and 10. So all the way up to the Buffalo Sabres game. We're going to stop it there after that. And uh, we're going to look at the trade deadlines. If we may, if we need to make any trades or, uh, or whatnot. Uh, there we go. There's a win against Pittsburgh. Uh, not not difficult to win against Pittsburgh. Uh, you guys probably saw their record. They've got only 9 wins so far in the season or something. These guys are absolutely horrible. Ever since they got rid of Crosby or something. Even though they got uh, a big-time player, power forward elite, 
doesn't seem like he's doing the job too much uh, yet for them. They probably need a little bit more help than that. It's a, it's a, it's crazy though. They don't have Malkin. They don't have Crosby anymore. So they're basically a garbage team all of a sudden just because they don't have these tut ass players. There we go. We continue to win games. We're doing, uh, we're doing good. Uh, New Jersey, can we win? So for some reason, the, New Jersey is another one. Just like Philadelphia, New Jersey is one of those teams that we just have a tough time winning against for some reason. Now, it's another good record. 7-0-3 this time around. So we haven't lost a single game in regulation. Uh, it's going to help us for the points. Yeah, it's going to help us. We are now tied up with the Flames for 89 points. Now, they've got one more win than us. So they, they would beat us for the President's Trophy. So we got to... We got to really get it, man. I do want to get us a, a, a third President's Trophy. I want to get a second one in uh, in a row as well. Uh, almost 12, 30 goals already for uh, Larkin. 93 points in 60 games played. I mean, these guys, uh, the first line is doing so good. It's doing so good, boys. 36 goals for Panarin, boys. 39 goals for uh, Line. So Line is not a... He had, remember, if you remember properly, he had 31 goals in 30 games played. So, like, he stopped scoring a little bit. Like, he definitely stopped scoring, but he's playing so great. That first line, it doesn't matter too much. That first line is doing great. Uh, second line, doing very great as well. It's really helping out Lafreniere to play with um, other players uh, that fit him well, right? I feel like Patrick, Patrick yeah, is actually a two-way forward. Nolan Patrick's a two-way forward. Kako is a glorified playmaker, and so is uh, Lafreniere, boy. So we got two playmakers with a 2A forward. Maybe if I could find maybe a sniper, actually, would help out, right? Because if I do that, I mean, that would be probably help out the first, second line because Malkin is a scorer, it, so it seems like, at least. And uh, we've got Ovechkin, which is a, a two-way, kind of. Uh, with a, But this, uh, see, this is so I don't want to change it. Because these guys are doing pretty good uh, anyways, right? 41 points for uh, Ovechkin. And he's playing on the third line the entire season so far. Uh, he's getting close to the 1,000 goals. I don't think he's going to get there. No, he's not going to get there, boys. He's 40 years of age. don't think he's going to get there, but uh, he's getting close. What about Boudin? How is he so far? 12 goals, 7 assists. There we go. Uh, plus minus is up there and uh, plus uh, 0. So that's pretty decent at least. He's got already more points than last year. So already he has a, a better season. At least there's that. You know, he's got to grow somehow. But I just don't know how to make him grow uh, further. You know, I, I have stud as players. So I don't have really space for him. And uh, that's pretty much it. You yeah, know, that's pretty much it on that part. Goalie-wise, I think everybody's good. Everybody's playing pretty great uh, on that part. See, I don't need to change the lineups. Uh, let's we can take a look at the roster see if we need to change uh, how did the penalty kill go because I've ref I, I know everything else is going up uh, everything's uh, going fine on the other side a power play is even going up even a penalty kill went all the way up at 80% yeah so large box is the way to go this year it seems like so what we do want to do is uh, we do want to look really quick uh, what is the value for our players is there any players that we would Possibly want to trade uh, right away, right this year. Uh, we'll see. Uh, there we go. Let's go for overalls. Now, Ovechkin's 88. I'm keeping him, of course. Let's look at the 85s, boys. So, uh, Truba, he's an 85. Now, I, I don't know. He doesn't have that much of a, of a value. 83. Miller has some value right here. He's a medium top four. We could possibly trade him for a better D-man, boys. We could do that. 81. I mean, Boudin, I don't know. His value is starting to drop a little bit. Uh, I, I don't know if I can do anything with him, to be honest, boys. He seems like a great player. He did not want to sign. Remember, he did not want to sign with us. I had to sign him for a big-time contract, a bigger contract than the usual. But I actually had to sign him for a one-year deal to make sure that he did come back with us. So he's actually not his contract is going to end uh this is the last year contract i don't even know if he was going to want to come back last year he didn't so it's kind of a it's kind of a problem you know it, it really is uh so i have the only two players i could possibly think of is uh miller i could trade him and i could trade uh boudin boys upgrade uh i guess 
both these parts. I don't have to trade my two goaltenders. They're fine as it is. Uh, where's my goal? Did he grow? Uh, did like grow? He's still 74 overall. He's actually not playing good on the minor. He's not doing good. That's uh, that's a shame, really. That that really is. All right, so we're gonna take a look. I I'm gonna take a look real quick uh, in the players. See if uh, there's not a way for me to upgrade my team somehow. Uh, I always find a way, anyways, every t every year. But uh, we'll see. But I already found a, a nice candidate uh, for uh, the replacement of Miller. Uh, but he's 35 years of age. It's Edmund, right? Elite. I could always go for Petriangel as well, but he's even older and he's got an exact top four. So that's he's going to drop. But we got a 90 overall. If we're talking about 90 overalls, I could go for Yossi as well. Bit more value. That means he's playing better, supposedly. But, uh, you know, I think... I think we should probably go for someone like him, like uh, Victor Edmund, boys. Another veteran, another veteran for the cup, right? You never know for the the playoffs. You got to think about the playoffs only. You don't care about, I don't care about growing players or whatnot. I only care about um, the, the Stanley Cup. I want to win the cup uh, as soon as possible. That's what I'm going after. Uh, Miller, so we can upgrade Miller right away. He's a top four for an elite player straight away. I think straightforward, it should go through uh, straightforward like that. Let's see if it goes through. Goes through straightforward, just like that. So our first trade, kind of a huge trade, a middle of trade right there. We get Victor Inman, medium, uh, well, an exact elite at 35 years of age. He's going to drop next year, just like Dali is uh, dropping right now. But, uh, you know, hopefully, just like Dowdy, he's not going to drop too much. He's going to be able to have another solid year or something. Dowdy's having a solid year. So that's just a clear upgrade once more. He's going to be able to play on the top two, boys, allowing Dowdy to play on the top four where he should be playing. You know what I mean? It's just a clear upgrade. It's a better upgrade for me. I feel uh, like uh, that was a good trade. Miller was only a top four. It was never going to be that top two uh, stud player anyway. So... It's not like it's a huge uh, major difference or anything, right? So uh, we got Edmund. Now we obviously, we got to play him over here. He's playing there. He's playing with uh, with Klimbert. Now this is going to go like that. Uh, Dowdy's got to play there. And um, I do think Truba is better than uh, Johansson, right? Yeah, he's better than Johansson. So Johansson's going to be with Zaitsev. Truba with Dowdy, boys. There it is. I'm going to put that his natural position. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're good on that part. So already you got that upgrade. Upgrade the defense, boys, for the playoffs. And uh, next thing, we could possibly upgrade Paul Boudin, boys. We could possibly upgrade him before he starts to lose his potential and stuff. That's the thing. I, I, I don't think he's going to become anything if he plays with us. I don't have any space for a young prospect like him. I should have probably never signed him and let him grow in the minors as much as possible because he doesn't have any space. I've got too many winners already. That's the main problem right now. So let's try and find out uh, any players that would be very interesting uh, to get, right? So let's try and figure that one out. Uh, anybody that's close by. So there we go. The closer by to his potential, uh, it's over in, but he's a left wing. We need a right wing, boys. We need a right wing. Center for Shifley. Not going to happen. Uh, there we go. There it is. Medium. Uh, low franchise, actually. Svechnikov uh, became a low franchise? Really? Well, isn't that an interesting one right there? He's actually got these stats all the way up at offensive awareness, at least. He's got the, the, the these eye up stats. Uh, he's, a, he's not a shooter, though. He's a two-way forward. Yeah, he's a two-way player. That's interesting. He could be, possibly become a shooter, though. I don't know, boys. He could become one. Uh, I mean, low franchise. It's it's uh, it's a good choice to go for him if we really want to. Uh, Taylor Hall, not really going to go for that. Uh, Mark Stone, nope. Anybody else in the 88s right here? Reinhardt? Could, we could play him in the right wing position. Yeah, he seems like a good option, a good, decent enough option. He's a playmaker, it seems like, though. Interesting. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have anything else, it seems like, right now. We can try and get Svechnikov. We can try and get him, boys. 
He's got that offensive awareness. Defensive awareness, not so much. It's actually below uh, his overall, so that's kind of dangerous. But it, as long as his offensive awareness is fine, I guess. Uh, we can we we can try our luck on this guy. I guess he could be a very good asset for us, a very good upgrade. So a little franchise as well. You never know, right? We could upgrade that. So I mean, we give them a Boudin, a potential medium elite player that could grow for them big time. And in exchange, they give us like a Shvetsnikov. Now I don't think it's gonna go through straight away like that. Yeah, it's not gonna go through. So I'm gonna have to give them something. Which I'm more than happy to give them a, a like a a, a player or whatnot. I can give them like a, a a low top four like this guy Plekanov, right? We dra we drafted him in the in this year's draft, I think. Yeah, second round drafted him. Think that could uh, that that doesn't go through. Okay, so that not even Plekanov is enough. Uh, I'm willing to give Oshi no problem, man. I I got prospects I'm never really gonna use. Oshi does they don't want to sign. Uh, they don't want to get him. And uh, now, if they don't want low, low, I'm not like, yeah, I'm not trading away a, a, a draft pick, boy. So it's not gonna happen. They don't want to trade away uh, Zvechnikov. It's not gonna happen. We're not getting him. Uh, we can try and see if there's anybody a little bit lower, I guess. Connor Garland is a good option right there, boys. We could go for him. He's 29 years of age. You could see 87 overall, but look at his offensive staff. Offensive awareness 92. Defensive awareness 91. A uh, Veselainen could be a good prospect right here. Let's see. Uh, well, is this not enough? Not as good as a, Gar a Connor Garland, boys. Not as good. Uh, uh, what about Wallstrom? There we go. Medium elite player. There we go. A 92.88. You know what? This guy seems like the best option right now. This guy, uh, this guy does seem like the best option. We're going to go for Wallstrom, boys. This guy uh, could be a very good player for us. There it is. So it's basically we uh, bring a roster player right now for a prospect. So Boudin straight up. Uh, we, they could probably give me something in exchange actually. Yeah, they could probably give me something like a draft pick or something. So uh, how about, I don't think second round's not going to go through. I don't think so. We can try second round and Wallstrom for Boudin boys. It did accept. It did happen. All right, so we got a second round and Wallstrom for Boudin. So it's basically an upgrade right away uh, for uh, Boudin, boys. So hopefully Boudin is going to have a good uh, career with the uh, New York Islanders. On my hand, I have um, Olivier Wallstrom, boys. Medium elite as well. He, can, he still has two years to grow or one and a half year to, uh, years to grow. He's a good player, sniper as well. He's going to be great for us. Great addition for us, boys. And uh, he's really going to be able to help us out. So what uh, we do want to do here is uh, if we take a look. Let's uh, let's go back really quick. That's the only trades I'm going to do. I already did my two trades. I'm not making any other trades right here. But uh, what we can do is put him in right away, right there. There we go. Now he's obviously uh, probably, he's on the same line as... Uh, as Rackle is on the same line, so either two, either one of these two is going to be playing uh, on that uh, part right there. So he's a 92, he's a 91, he's better, he's a better player than uh, Rackle. So I want to play him with Ovechkin and uh, I guess Malkin, see how it goes. And we're going to put Rackle on the fourth line with Olofsson and Middlestad boys. That's just how it's going to go. Um, that's all, uh, that's how we're going to roll it basically. Uh, Panarin dropped actually. He's starting to drop. He's a 91 overall now, uh, while um, uh, Lafreniere is not growing either. So they're, I think Lafreniere's cap might be a 91, boys. I don't know, but uh, we got our two upgrades now. Let me see if I can't uh, put a guy like Wallstrom, yeah, in the um, power play or something like that. Okay, so he's already there. He's already in the power play and everything. Good. So he's already set up up there. Penalty kill, I think he's fine. Oh, yeah, he's fine. So there we go. We got our two upgrades, boys. Victor Enman and Olivier Wilstra, Wallstrom. Both of them are going to be playing for our team. Brand new players. Uh, we don't need to make any other changes. We're fine on that part. So what we can do right here is we can just get past the trade deadline. Real quick, we can see if there's any huge trades that happen or whatnot. Right, so... 
gonna go to the Anaheim Ducks game. Let's see if we're gonna get wins after these two trades. We, in my opinion, upgraded my team like a hundred folds just with those two players, boys. It's unbelievable. Just upgraded my team like a. Uh, uh, keep the current trade block. There we go. Continue simming. Don't need to do anything right here. There we go. So we got a loss against Vancouver right here. That's fine though. Uh, if we take a look as it's simulating, we've got 91 points. The Flames has 93. So we got to win games. We got to win games if we want uh, that President's Trophy. The Flames are going to be really hard to catch up to, boys. They have, they're having such a fantastic season. It's going to be hard, boys, to catch up to them. Let's take a look. Is there any huge trades that happen or anything? Uh, so trades, Nick Schmaltz, Ryan Donato, Timo Meyer going to Boston, I guess. Nick Suzuki going to Colorado, uh, Carolina. Okay. Chris Terry, nothing really. Uh, Nicholas Lindholm, there we go, going to Chicago for Ryan Ellis. Uh, what else? Mike Hoffman going to Boston. All right, that's pretty much it. I don't see anything else. Philip Zadina going to Tampa Bay, boys, for a first round pick. All right, all right. Alex Stock, Kasha, Brodeen. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy that I'm saying, uh, seeing right now. Nothing crazy. Jones, Bolzuk, Yanmark, Logan, uh, Wallstrom, and Buda. Okay, so I, I would say the biggest trades are uh, the two trades that we did during the trade deadline. The other ones are kind of normal trades nothing to look at or focus on so there it is we did the biggest trades uh four six eight and ten so after that all the way up to the new york islanders game that's going to put us at 70 games played boys let's go let's win some games right here there we go shooting wins a uh, shootout wins as well you can see it really helped out my team as well that i mod modified the shootouts because Otherwise, we would be losing again these shootouts, the valuable wins that we could, we should be getting right now. So, yeah, there we go. We're, we're a little bit of on a winning streak until we lost against uh, Ottawa in a shootout right there. That's fine. So right now, let's let's just see where we are at. The last simulation was seven two and one, so that's great. Panarina has a hundred and four points. By far, is the best career season of his career so far. Forty two goals. Uh, we have 104 points. Behind us are the Bruins. Uh, the Flames actually started to lose some games right there. Or I don't know, but they are 99 points. So, yeah, we are the best team. So, the new racing, uh, we're racing not only with the Flames, we're racing with uh, the Flame, the Bruins as well. We got two teams to uh, focus on right now, it looks like. Uh, penalty kill everything. Let's take a look at our team stats. How is everything going down, boys? We got to take a look at all of this. So we're still the best offensive team, the best defensive team, power play, best power play, and the penalty kill, second best penalty kill. Everything's working just fine. Uh, we can take a look real quick in the, ten, in the 10 games that they played for us, basically. What did uh, the two new our two new players did? Uh, how's it going for them, right? So uh, I do want to see that. Olivier, uh, Olivier Wallstrom. All right, so he's got 52 points right here. Yeah, and he's got nine points in 10 games played. Uh, one goal, so he's a playmaker with us. So with us, he's a playmaker. All right, now we, we know what he is. We know what he is, boys. Playmaker with uh, a sniper and a two-way four. That's perfect. He's a perfect replacement. He's exactly the same, same type of player as a, as a Rackle. So that's perfect. It's working out great. Uh, Victor Edmund, what he did for us. He's got uh, these amount of points, six points and ten games played. Just like the uh, Wallstrom, he's doing great with our team. He's producing just fine, and Dowdy's doing fine on the third, uh, fourth, uh, second duo basically. Zaitsev dropped to an eighty overall, so he dropped. Uh, but that's uh, that's fine, boys. Uh, what about Shosturkin in this so far? He's got to do better. I think Shosturkin's starting to drop quite a lot, right? He's not the stud of a play goaltender as he used to be. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have a great uh, backup goaltender in Matt Murray, boys. So that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing. I think we can, uh, we can uh, figure that out, uh, figure this out eventually. Where if Shosturkin shits the bed in the playoffs, then we can put Matt Murray in there and hope for the best. Really, we can probably uh, have Murray play good for us as well. 
So two, four, six, eight, and ten. I guess we're gonna simulate the entire rest of the season, right? Uh, there's uh, 12 games remaining. We might as well the rest of the uh, uh, simulate the rest right here. So there's a there, there's a win against uh, Islanders. Another win against Boston. A third win in a row against uh, the Colorado uh, Avalanche right here. Fourth win in a row. Uh, and there we go. So there's a loss in shootout against uh, Panthers. We get a win against Carolina. A second win in a row. So we're going to end up real strong. I think we might be uh, getting it, boys. Uh, Brendan Mike. So this is our our goalie, right? A medium elite goalie right there. Yeah, he got injured. I don't know for how long. Hopefully he's going to come back. Uh, what did he do this uh, so far this year? How did he do? Uh, he did. Uh, he did all right, I guess. He could have done better. He he could have done a better, uh, had a better season, boy. So far, I feel like he had uh, kind of a disappointing season for a main starter in the AHL. But uh, I guess it's fine. So we're finishing off on a strong uh, winning streak. There we go. Now our last game, we lost it against Vancouver, but that's okay. Basically, it looks like the first round is going to be us against Toronto once more. We're going to have to face up against Toronto. If you remember properly, last year, they almost defeated us. I had to actually jump into the game to save my own ass, boys. Uh, we're going to take a look. Uh, did we win the President's Trophy this year once again? I hope so, because every time we win the President's Trophy, boys, uh, we win the Cup. So, 126 points. Let's take a, a look around the league right here. Yes, we did. We did. So for the second time in a row, second year in a row, we win the President's Trophy. Third, uh, third time in three in four years, boys, that we win it as well. So uh, tell me that I have something wrong right here, right? I don't have anything wrong. I'm the best GM out there. Now, obviously, I don't have salary caps on, but that's beside the, uh, the matter of the fact that I know how to put my team uh, how to put the settings how to play the settings and how to edit the lines properly i know how to do it you know even uh, with or without cap on we're doing just fine so if we take a look at the playoff tree this is the teams that are going to be in the playoffs this year edmonton versus calgary ottawa versus vancouver boston versus philadelphia toronto versus the rain uh, new york which is us We've got Detroit versus Tampa Bay, Carolina versus uh, uh, Florida, the Ducks for so Anaheim versus Minnesota, and Colorado versus Chicago boys. So these are the teams for this year. Uh, also, yeah, I do want to take a look at our team player stats this year. We can already see um, probably the best two best players of the league this year. Uh, we've got Panarin at fifty three goals. And line A at 50 goals. Good lord. We got two 50 goal scorers in our team this year, boys. And they were both playing on the first line. Holy shit. What a great year it was for us. Uh, 118 points for Larkin. 117 points for Panarin. Holy shit. And 96 points for Line A. 92 points for Capo Caco. That is great. That's his best season of his career, boys, so far. Uh, super great. That's really uh, going to help him grow big time. Uh, Lafreniere, 86 points. Really great as well. Best season of his career as well. I think Kako and him playing together are really connecting well with each other. I think it's working out, boys. So, yeah, uh, we figured so we, we figured how to we figured it out how to play Lafreniere and Kako, boys. We figured it out. And uh, Patrick, great player uh, to play with these two guys. All right, so that's basically the first line. You see the first line right here. Production of the second line. Uh, third line right here. So we got Wallstrom came back at the end right here. How many points did he get for us in 22 games played? 16 points. Not too shabby. All right, he dropped a little bit, but he's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Ovechkin, 56 points. 27 goals still. Uh, 55 points for Malkin. There it is. Uh, after that, we got Klimbert and Edmund. Dowdy as well. All right, all right. Everybody playing great for me, boys. Goldie-wise, 45 wins for Shesterkin. Uh, 904, so he could have done better. He didn't have too much of a good season. Uh, you know, he's got these wins. That's just because of the players in front of him. Uh, Matt Murray, though, had a great season as a backup. So if we take a look at the entire league, oh, we already know who's the best player. Yeah, it's, it's quite clear to me. Best scorer of the league, though, is Dimitri Kolsov. 55 goals 
so what is he? Is that, oh, he's medium franchise player, right? For the uh, Ottawa Senators, 91 overall. First overall pick, yep, in uh, 2023. That's three years ago, boys. So three or four years ago, he got drafted. This guy is a stud. Uh, Nikolainen or Nilikanin or whatever his name is, 40, 54 point uh, goals as well. Another franchise player. Got a lot of franchise players, boys. Back to back right here. Panarin and uh, Patrick Kane and Liney. We got a lot of 50 goal scorers this year. A lot of them. Uh, what about the points? Larkin, of course, Panarin, McDavid, 101 points, 99 points uh, for Menta, Pasternak, 97, Nikolainen, 96, Laine, Dubois, and Jesper Bratt, 95 points for him. Oh, wow, all right. Good for him, good for him. So we got, uh, you can see all these players right here. Defense-wise, uh, who is the best defenseman? McAvoy with, uh, McAvoy, I guess, with 71 points. Heiskanen. Uh, You'll see uh, Carlson, Ekblad, Hughes, Car and the other Carlson, Hannafin, and Jones. All right. And goalies. Who was the best goalie this year? Gustafsson. Uh, yeah, he's going to win the President's Trophy for sure. Uh, the Vizina Trophy, I should say. Uh, 46 wins, the most amount of wins, and the best percent saving percentage. After that, it's a Sturkin, but his saving percentage is uh, very low. We've got Robin Lehner. The guy who did not want to sign with us as well, boys. He decided to go with uh, Toronto. It worked out well for him. Did not want to be a backup, I guess. Uh, that worked out very well for him. Uh, rookie skaters this year. Who was the best rookie? Nikolai and his best first season, boys. Rookie season, 96 points, 57, uh, 54 goals. What a great first season for him. Holy. So we had a, an offensive production uh, year for everyone, I guess. Okay, so we can take a look really quick. We're going to do the playoffs, of course. Uh, we can take a look at the, I guess, the, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs roster. Once again, we can see the same players, really. Nylander, Matthews, and Marner. They're very dangerous at first line. We already know. Uh, Jones, Tavares, and Mulligan. So I don't know. Max Jones is starting to drop. So he's not that type of player that can really be dangerous for us too much. Coleman, Robinson, Tanev, uh, Wagner, uh, Chaplick, and and I guess Ernie. So they've got they've got good good decent good decent players. They don't have really that much of depth though. Uh, Riley, Littergan, Sindin, uh, Nutivara, uh, Dunn, and Clefbon. So they still have a pretty decent defense, and they do have Robin Lehner in the net. Uh, so we're facing off against the guy that uh, basically. Uh, decided to refuse our contract offer right so we'll see if it works out better for him or worse for him we'll see though we're just uh, we're just gonna hop on in straight away i know what to expect uh, i don't know my lineups i we're gonna keep the lineups of the regular season for now i feel like i've got so many more studs this year i don't have to worry about it too much now they do have a very much a, a strong team the battle uh, maple leaves have but i mean i have the f best first line in league. I mean, uh, Larkin was the best player. Panarin was the best player, the second best player as well. They've got Matthews scoring a goal though. So Larkin and Matthews, Ovechkin. See, this is the main difference. This year we also have Ovechkin on our line, boys, on our team. And I already know that Ovechkin is a great goal scorer. He's a great playoff performer as well, just like Lafreniere is a, a playoff performer as well. So. Uh, it's going to be a great thing to have him. He's going to have clutch goals for us, just like that one. So it's pretty much even game right now. Jones is going to score a goal on the second line for them. Uh, tw 22 shots to 21 shots. Very even game, boys. Very even game for this first one. Klimbert's going to score a goal. Lillegrand's going to answer back right away. So the be two def uh, defensemen uh, answering back to each other. Malkin on the third line. Matthews scoring a second goal. See, we score a goal, they answer back right away. Very offensive team, both of our part. We both have a very de in-depth uh, defense. Now, I've got better depth than them, so I should be able to outscore them, I feel like, right? I should definitely be able to do it. Now, we do have to hop on into the uh, overtime right here, so let's do it. All right, here we go, boys. We're starting up in the overtime against uh, Matthews' lineup. He already had two goals this, uh, this game. We got to really uh, do our thing right here. Go. Oh, right away. 
what a great pass by uh, the number five. I don't know who number five is. Is that supposed to be uh, like uh, the guy right here? Is that supposed to be a lining or something? But, uh, what a great pass. Panarin's going to get like a goal straight away from that. That's a great pass. Oh, who's that? Wallstrom, is it? No. Who the fuck is that? I, don't, I can't see his name, boys. Is that Klimberg? I think that's Klimberg. So our defenseman Klimberg just went into the rush right away. Gave it to uh, uh, Panarin and straight away, there's a goal for us. We didn't miss the round, boys. I'm telling you, I do not lose during the simulation uh, on ice. On ice simulation, I do not lose. Do not lose whatsoever. They don't want to go over time. Yo, the Leafs, you do not want to go over time, man, against me. I'm going to win. I'm going to beat your ass every day. Every day of the week. So, all right. So, we ended up winning that game. Now, the problem is, of course, uh, we got um, we got almost outshotted right there, right? They scored as many goals as us. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Like is back for the playoffs. I hope. I don't know if they're in the playoffs. I hope so. That would be a good uh, experience for him. Uh, we'll, we'll simulate the second game. But the problem is, uh, I, I don't want to change anything. But the thing is, uh, they, they can score as many goals as us. We saw it in the um, in the first game right here. So hopefully our offense is still going to show up. They've got that strong ass offense that cannot that just can't be stopped. Right? We can't stop this man. Matthews, another goal for him. Third goal already in two games. This guy can't be stopped. Rackle, there we go. A goal for him. Mar Marner's going to score, answer back. Wallstrom's going to answer back. Oh, it's the same It's the same type of game. Larkin, there we go. A goal for him. Ballbuster goal at the end of the period right there. Uh, so, yeah, it's a goal-scoring game, boys. Uh, uh, goal-scoring, I guess, uh, round right here. It's to, it, we're, we both have two very much offensive team right here. And that's uh, very dangerous. They've got Jones, a second goal for him. Second liner. Scoring a goal for them. So back and forth, boys. Back and forth. There's no goaltending in this game, um, in this round. No goaltending whatsoever. And not, uh, there we go. There's a goal for Ovechkin. Clutching goal right there on the second period. Like, I'm not going to blame Shesterkin. I'm not going to blame him because uh, I know that the other team has some good ass offense. Like, that first line is a stud ass first line. It's very tough to beat. It, you can't beat the. Like, you can't prevent Matthews from scoring a goal at least every game. It's just going to happen. One of these three guys is just bound to score a goal. But, you know, Ovechkin coming in clutch for us, boys, in the first round. Give us, uh, gives us the win. And uh, we're moving on to the second round just like that. We eliminated them in two games. We didn't have to lose a single game against them, which is fantastic. This time around, we, had, uh, we have the veterans. We know, what, we know what to expect out of this team. Now, second round, who are we facing up against? That's the interesting part. The Boston Bruins, once again. So it's the same thing. The same. Uh, we are going the same route as last year, it seems like. Uh, if we take a look, let's take a look at the Boston Bruins right here. What do they look like, boys? Do they have the similar players? Mike Hoffman, Victor Rask, Kratzov. So they've got some decent first line, but it's not Matthew's first line. That's for sure. It's not the same type. Uh, Marchand, Galchenyuk, Pasternak on the second line. Now Pasternak, dangerous one. He's already got three goals. Yeah, that's a dangerous one. Uh, Senford, Lawden, Meyer, Vrana, B uh, Bennett, and Brad. So they've got depth. They're counting on their depth right here. So they might be good defensively. Uh, Olsen. McAvoy, Olsen is an interesting one on the first line. Uh, Kinnanen, Severson, Niku, and Stetcher. So they don't have any defense. And they don't have a goalie. They don't have goaltending and they don't have goalie. Uh, so they don't have goaltending and they don't have defense. They only have in-depth forwards. So I think they're, there's a they're, they are a defensive team. Uh, they can shut us down probably. So that's a dangerous part. We'll see if we can outshoot them. Right away, we'll see if we can, uh, if we can score on them, it won't be a problem. If we can't uh, score on them, though, it's going to be a problem because they, they do have that ability to shut it down, it seems like, or prevent them from shooting the puck. See, they're a defensive team. Kratzoff and Olsen both getting goals. Another power, a power play for the Bruins. What are we doing? We're taking penalties, boys. That's not good. All right, let's go, guys. You, uh, we got this. 
We got past the first round pretty uh, like convincingly. Let's just do it, man. If we can outscore the Leafs, we can outscore anybody. Let's go. We uh, managed to uh, come back around momentum-wise. We're actually having more goals now. We're starting to dominate a little bit. Just got to get the, a goal or something. We're not getting goals. See, they're shutting us down. We're not scoring goals. Yeah, we're not scoring goals against them. And they're scoring. Uh, Pasternak scoring a goal against us. That is not good. Yeah, Lafrenia yeah, scoring a goal. There we go. We got some power play. We didn't score on the power play, though. That's not good. Not good. All right. Well, all right. There's a goal for Meyer. All right. So I'm going to have to make a this uh, executive decision right here. Uh, I'm not trusting Shesterkin. Shesterkin hasn't, like, he gave up how many goals? He's giving up, like, at least three goals per game. Shesterkin hasn't done anything good for us in this playoff, boys. Yes, he uh, he gave us two cups so far, but uh, like I I'm not willing to lose my chance right here for a Stanley Cup playoff. He's he's been absolute garbage. I want to try Murray, and now it's time for trying to modify the lineups for a playoff, right? For the actual playoffs. Now Panarin's good, but uh, I think like just like last year, Lafreniere was great, and uh, Ovechkin much better player than Panarin. Ovechkin is a scorer. We need to play him. Uh, Kako doesn't do too much on the playoffs. He's not a playoff performer. Seems like Wallstrom is a good playoff performer. Rackle uh, seems like a good one. So Kako, you're going to be sit down on the fourth line. Liney, I'm going to keep you on the third, uh, first line right here. Uh, Larkin's great. Uh, Patrick not doing too much. I think Malkin's a better player. So we're going to do these four or two guys together. Basically, the third line is moving up to the second line. They're just playing more. Panarin with Patrick and Rackle. Maybe Allison. No, Allison is fine there. And I think that's pretty much it. Actually, put Kako in there. Let's try that, uh, that one out like that. Actually, no. No, I want uh, Rackle because Kako doesn't do anything in the playoffs. So we're doing this, boys. We're doing this. Actually, you know what? Ovechkin on the first line. Ovechkin on the first line with Line and Larkin. Lafrenia with Malkin and Wallstrom. That's what we're doing, boys. We're doing it. We're doing it. I got to put my best players of uh, the playoff performers. I got to put them in there. These are the guys that I got, that I trust the most to get it done, to get goals. I know Lafrenia gets goals. I know Ovechkin gets goals. I'm putting them as much as possible up there. All right. Uh, let's see if anything happens. Please don't let me have to, uh, to, uh, to get in there. All right. Score some goals, boys. Uh, Pastor Knack getting a goal right away uh, on Matt Murray. I'm also trusting Matt Murray instead of Shesterkin, boys. So let's see if Matt Murray can do the job. I don't know. I don't know if he will. Lafreniere, there we go, getting a goal. So this is what I'm talking about, boys. I know who's going to score for me. Now we just have to shut it down. There we go. Klinberg getting a goal for us. Elvis is same type of goalie as uh, as mine. So Pastor Knack, a second goal. All right, we got to stop him. This guy's a goal scorer. He's as dangerous as a Matthews, boys. He's the type of player who, just like Matthews, is, he might break uh, break it up for us, man. He might destroy us completely. So we got to be careful right here. Brad Marchand getting a goal for them. Shit, man. All right. Let's get something together, boys. Let's get something together. You got this, boys. Come on. I believe in you. Don't make me come in there. I can only intervene once. Let's go, man. I can only intervene once. I'm going to have to intervene, am I? I'm going to have to intervene. Okay, whoa. Watch out. Okay. I'm going to have to intervene. Let's do it. Let's intervene and try to make my win team as a coach uh, myself on the bench. Hopefully, it's going to work out. I hope so. All right. Well, here we go. Last four minutes of the third period. We're trailing by one goal. This is all or nothing, boys. Literally all or nothing. Seems like uh, we had, uh, we're playing better defensively. There we go, Rackle. What a good, what a chance by him right there. He, he got that chance straight away. Panarin getting a shot. Good save by uh, Merzlinskins uh, right here. I'm actually uh, empty net, first line, everything. We're getting an empty net right there, boys. We gotta do all or nothing, all or nothing. Win that face off. There we go. Go shoot it. Nice shot. Nice shot by Panarin. He had the, the wide open shot right there. All right. Go for the line change. Go for the line change. Goalies. Stop him. Don't let him shoot. Okay. There we go. Okay. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. There we go. 
Go back right there. I just didn't want uh, anything stupid to happen. All right. All right. Get in position, boys. Get in position, Headman. There it is. Victor Headman. Great pass by Larkin to Victor Headman in the in the the defense position of the blue line. First goal of the power play uh, of the playoffs. Oh my God! Can't come up at a better time right here, boys. Telling you, man, I am not gonna get beat in the goddamn simulation of all nice. Ain't gonna happen. I got you big time, my guy. Let's go. All right, Edmund to uh, Ovechkin right here. You do, you guys are doing great. You gave me a, a goal right there. Oh, nice, nice! It went in. Oh, they broke it up, man. That's that's. Uh, I don't know who your goal. Um, Elvis fault right there. That's Elvis's fault. Look at that. Boom. Oh, wow. The defenseman, he put it on his own net. Wow. All right. He just gave us the win right there. He just gave us the win just like that. Uh, uh, an own net, boys. Good. On net goal. That's what I like to see. This is what I'm talking about, boys. But I can only do this all once. Uh, once per, uh, per round right there. I can only save my team like that once per round. Like jump in like that. Be the coach. I can only do it once. Now it's working out for this game. But that means that next game though. Oh, there we go. There we go. We won that game. There we go. That means that next game we either have to go at least to overtime. Or we uh, we have to get lucky and actually win it uh, convincingly. Like in regulation or something. We got to win it somehow. We got to do something right here. So let's go boys. You guys got this. I believe in you. Believe in you boys. You got this. And also, you know what? Because uh, Lafreniere scored a goal. I'm trusting him on the for, for, uh, first line more than I'm um, trusting Ovechkin. Ovechkin, you got to play him with uh, with Malkin for sure. Yeah. You got to play him with uh, Malkin and Wallstrom. Seems like it might be working out. And Rackle is scoring goals. He's kind of a dangerous player. We'll keep it in there. We'll keep these lineups. Now, Murray got a goal. He got a win for us. I'm keeping Murray in there, boys. He got us a win. All right. I'm, I want the guy that's going to give us the win. That's going to give us a, an advantage. It's as simple as that. So let's go, boys. Get in there. Do your thing. Uh, I'll play them. Fuck. Hoffman's going to get a goal. Shit. But we got so many studs on our team. And I cannot. I don't have any right. I exhausted my right right here to jump into a game in this round. So I cannot jump in and help you out. Rackle, there we go, getting a goal. Get, get, get a goal. Olofsson on the fourth line. There it is. We are all playing them. We got to be able to, uh, at some point, like, do something with that advantage that we got. Sanford getting a goal for them. Galchenyuk, of all people, on the fucking second line. There we go, Patterson scoring a goal on the third line. Show us. Show us why you should probably be playing in the first line instead of the third line. Right now I'm play Oh fuck you. Kratzov getting a goal right away. What is this? Another Toronto Maple Leaf game right now. What is going on? What is going on here? Yo, Murray, I trusted you, buddy. I can't jump in right there. Power play for us. We can't score. We can't score, boys. i I can't jump in. I can't do it. I don't have a right to do it anymore. I already did it before. Yeah, alright. Empty net goal for Pastor Nack, and that's gonna be it. So it looks like we're going to be eliminated in the second round, boys, against the Boston Bruins. I tried my best uh, with the simulation. Nothing I could have done. My team was better than last year and somehow we got defeated. Oh, I had a better team than last year and we, uh, we got defeated. Problem is I had to, uh, I had to go for Sh Murray. Maybe I should have went for Shishterkin. I don't know. Shishterkin played bad the entire year. He played three, uh, three games. He had a bad year, boy. Shesterkin is not there this year. I, there's only so much I can do. Uh, Liney played great. L L Larkin did great. Once again, Lafania showed up a little bit. Maybe I should have kept a veteran or something. I don't know. I did what I had to do. Uh, we tried our best right here. We're just going to simulate the rest, I guess. It's a shame, really. It really is a shame because I thought for sure we could have won that one. Like, uh, that's crazy. Now, who's going to win the cup? Is it going to be, once again, the... No, it's going to be the Bruins. So we did end up losing to the Stanley Cup champions, it looks like. At least there's that. There's, re uh, there's conciliation in that, I guess. All right, uh, let's just uh, stop the simulation. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the awards real quick uh or the playoff tree that's all i want to look at boston bruins they defeated the colorado avalanche think about it the avalanche that's the third the third year in a row that they went into the finals they wanted they want uh, they wanted the first time and then they they lost the two other times against us and now the uh, boston bruins the colorado avalanche man three years in a row in the goddamn stanley cup playoffs uh finals these guys uh they're a very dangerous team they're a very dangerous team all right so let's move it on let's move it on boys uh sim to the draft lottery uh st louis is gonna have the draft uh first draft pick dallas new jersey montreal and uh, obviously we're not there so uh we don't have to worry about that uh view retirees any players that retired on our team this year yeah we do have some players a couple of players even uh ovechkin that was his last year of his career boys decided to retire so he uh had a chance to win the cup with us uh we couldn't do it unfortunately for him that's fine though he did uh finish his career boys with more points than crosby at that so a better player than crosby 971 points finished off as the best goal scoring uh player of all time uh eric Stahl, we lost him as well in the minors he decided to retire uh Giroud, wheeler kessel all right all these players decided to retire boys all the other ones as well mike offman the two stall brothers actually retired at the same time all right radulov defensive side uh drew dolly we lost drew dolly as well so uh, we're, we're losing a bunch of veterans right now drew dolly uh, only 36 years of age though retiring even grew up boys to an 88 somehow he retires all right good for him i guess and giordano uh finishing off as a free agent Sh uh, shatterkirk edler so a lot of players boys especially on our part as well uh tuka rask taking uh retiring mike smith all these players what is mike smith was 44 years of age boys he took forever to retire that's for sure what uh, what about us where we are so goalies we didn't lose any goalies we did lose dowdy and muzzin so we uh, we lost jake muzzin and drew dowdy and forwards well we lost uh three players we lost ovechkin stall and Johansson. so we got uh we lost five players into uh i guess into retiring uh retirees this year phil kessel and eric stall both go are uh, becoming coaches that's kind of cool that's kind of cool all right let's simulate that continue the simming all right pro scout and there it is all right so let's take a look at our coaching uh, any of our coaches decide to retire no nope, none at all so we're good on that part and uh, i think uh we are good here so uh, this is going to be a shorter video boys i'm not uh, i'm just going to end it right here i don't want to do the draft lottery today i don't feel like doing that I'm just going to skip it for right now we're going to uh, go into it for the next video so remember to leave a like and subscribe to the new video i'll see you guys uh, for the next one keep it easy